What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a step-by-step -step video on how to make a sump for your guys' freshwater or saltwater aquarium. And I know there's a million different ways to build a sump, but I'm going to be showing you guys a basic, cheap, and very effective way to do this. So if you watch this video all the way through, I'm hoping you guys will be able to build one of these things here on your own. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, because I will be doing a four part video on this whole setup. Not just the sump alone, the sump will be part one. We'll probably build a stand part two, plumbing and setting up the tank part three, and the final outcome. But I'm gonna show you guys what materials and what tools we're gonna need for this job. So come on. All right, so the materials you're gonna need for this job, obviously start with a tank. Now, I had this 30 gallon just laying around. I wasn't using it for nothing. So it's gonna work perfect for this project here. Now, I got six sheets of quarter inch plexiglass cut. These four are gonna be for the baffles. These two will be for the bulkheads and the filter socks. Um, I got two sticks of one inch PVC pipe that's gonna go from the bulkheads down into the filter socks just to prevent any extra noise that we have with water flow. I got two tubes of silicone and I recommend you picking up one of these small bottles because there's going to be plenty of spots where that caulk gun ain't going to fit. We got some uh, masking tape there. For tools, we're going to need something to cut the PVC with. You can use some of these uh, ratchet cutters, hacksaw, whatever you got. Um, tape measure, writing utensil. We need some hole saws depending on what size bulkheads and what size filter bags you're running. I'm running with four inch filter bags, so I need a three and a half inch hole saw, and my bulkheads are a one inch, so I need one and three quarter inch. Now, obviously need a caulk gun, a drill, and if you have a respirator. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see these lines that I just drew on the tank here, but this is kind of where I'm gonna be putting the baffles in the plexiglass. Right here, water's gonna be coming down on this side. Right here's where I'm gonna be putting the filter socks. It's gonna go down through come up right here is going to be a whole tray of sponges it's going to go down and all the media come back up we'll put a couple more sponges here and right here is where it's going to pump back out into the tank All right, so now that we got this first one siliconed in, we're gonna go ahead, and take some spacers, put those down in there. Cause I wanna keep this next one about an inch off the bottom. Cause that's where I want my water to run through. So I'm gonna go ahead, tape that up right about there. Go ahead, silicone this one up. And we're just gonna keep moving down the line. All right, so now that we got all the baffles in place, siliconed up, I let this sit for about four or five hours. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my spacer blocks. And you can see that that held that up pretty decent. It's exactly what I wanted. So now we are gonna have our water coming into our tank from our overflows, down into our filter socks. It's gonna come through here, up, through all of our sponge filters, into the media, back up, down through some more sponges, and hit the return pumps going back into the tank. Now you guys are probably wondering what this white styrofoam stuff is. Well, it's actually some packing foam that I found around the house. But it's actually like an inch thick, so I thought it would work a lot better than just silicone in a piece of uh, acrylic, plexiglass, whatever you're using. And I just feel like it will have more support because what this is actually going to do is going to hold that plate right there we're gonna drill two holes in here to hold our filter socks. Then we got another piece. It's gonna be going up on top here. This is gonna be holding our bulkheads and we'll have a piece of one inch PVC pipe that I showed you guys earlier coming from the bulkheads going about halfway down the filter sock. 
So we're gonna take this to the workbench. We're gonna drill two one and three quarter inch holes for our bulkheads. And we're gonna drill two three and a half inch holes for our filter socks. Now you are gonna wanna make sure that these holes through both panes are lined up. Cause like I said, I'm taking a piece of PVC pipe from the bulkhead and running about halfway down that filter sock just to prevent any extra water noise that we're gonna be having. So let's bring this to the bench and cut these holes. All right, so I got the plexiglass here. I did stack them on top of each other exactly where they're gonna be setting on the tank. I marked out each hole exactly where I wanna drill it. Now I'm gonna take just a regular drill bit here, run that through each one of these holes just to get them started so I know that these are gonna line up just perfectly. So let's go ahead, we'll drill these out. So once you get your two holes drilled in each one of your panes, now you're gonna switch your bit out to one of the hole saws. We're gonna be cutting one of them with the one and three quarter inch, and then the other one's gonna be with the three and a half. Now that you got that about halfway through, go ahead and flip it over and run it through the other side. All right, so now that we got both of our pieces cut here, before we silicone them down, we just wanna verify that all of our stuff's gonna fit in here. So let's try our bulkhead out. Boom, just how we want it. Now let's try one of our filter socks. Look at that, beautiful. Fits right in there. Same with the bulkhead, fits right down in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this stuff out. We're gonna go silicone those up in the tank and then we'll drop everything into place. All right, so now that we got all our pieces in place, everything's siliconed down, we need to wait 24 hours before we can add these bulkheads and filter socks. But you can see what I did here. I just siliconed down the edge of the tank, popped this piece in place for the bulkheads, four and a half inches down. I made one for the filter socks. That's gonna leave me plenty of room to still get in here, pull those socks out for maintenance. All right, so now that we got the sump pretty much wrapped up now, we got the PVC pipe going from the bulkheads down into the filter sock. You do not want to glue these two pipes to these bulkheads. You want these to be removable. That way you can remove the filter socks when come maintenance time. Now, these are not required, but I did throw them in. I had some spare laying around. I'm actually not sure what they even call these, but you can find them at Home Depot in the drop ceiling slash lighting department. But they're just like a little grate. I zip tie two of them together with a spacer in the middle. Still allows plenty of water movement to go through, but that way it's gonna help all my sponges in these two compartments not to flow into the next chamber. So the next part to this, we just gotta move it to the bench, fill it up with water, throw a pump in it, and we're gonna all test right, so it. So I got the tank inside, got it full of water. Now I'm using about a 250 gallon an hour pump right now, just so we can test this out. But I got the water going down through the bulkheads here. That is then going into the filter socks, and then it's pushed up above this first baffled here. Now this is gonna be where I have a bunch of sponge filtration that is then gonna travel through there, go into our media bed, then up over the next baffled, into more sponge filtration, and then back into the return pump, headed back to the tank. So I hope that video was super helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and subscribe, turn on that notification bell. But my next video is gonna be me building the stand to this new 180 gallon tank build that I'm doing. This was part one. The stand will be part two, setting up the tank, and the final display will be part three. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Until the next one, peace.